thing is, I have a lot of companies come up to me and they say, how do we know who our high potentials are? I love that question. I've got two answers. Number one, you've got to look for people who are competent. Does that make sense? You've got to have people who are competent. But even more importantly than competence, you need people of character. Character and competence. Powerful combination. I don't care who you are. Diligence. There's no substitute for working hard. It is a long, curvy road. You cannot necessarily be concrete about what your vision is about next steps. You can't. But you've got to commit every day to becoming the best that you can be. More capable, more committed, more aligned. That's the gift of leadership. That's what great leaders, that's what great parents do with their children. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Baird. Welcome back to my blog. So I am reporting in from uh, Project World, Business Analyst World, Toronto 2014. It's the end of the day on day one. It's been a really great day. Uh, we had a guy named John Matone who led the event and opened as a keynote this morning. I'm going to read some notes, but he talked about I mean, his, his, his real words were unlocking massive leadership talent. And I love it because it isn't just about being a great leader and leading others, but it, I think it's, it's all about helping others in your life to become great leaders as well. John Matone, you can look him up, uh, a great speaker in leadership out of Orlando, Florida. Um, I really love what he said. He's and I posed the question, I'm never going to forget this. I said, who can tell me a great definition of character? There's this young man, 13 years old, in the first row. He was the only one who raised his hand. I ran over to him. I said, what's your name? He stands up. He says, my name's Amant. I said, Amant, thank you. Thank you so much. What is the great definition you want to share? He says, it's what you do when nobody else is working. The place erupted. Everybody erupted. I said, Amant, maybe you should do the speech. <laughs> you know what's interesting is, we've heard that definition before. It's really not all that unique although fairly unique for a 13-year-old. What's even more unique was that he was that quick. He was that quick in coming up with the construct, meaning that he lives his life as a 13-year-old with a construct of character. We need that. The inner core is so powerful. You know what's interesting is the world sees your outer core. Nobody sees the inner core except who? You tell me, who sees your inner core? Who is the only person who can see your inner core? You, if you choose to see it. John Matone is the author of seven books. His recent bestsellers, Intelligent Leadership, What You Need to Know to Unlock Your Full Potential, and Talent Leadership, a proven method for identifying and developing high potential employees are being heralded by leading experts as groundbreaking and innovative. J.D. Meyer from Sources of Insight says Intelligent Leadership might just be the best leadership book of 2013. It's one of the deepest leadership and personal development books since Stephen Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and Tony Robbins's Unlimited Power. It's that good. Marshall Goldsmith says, John shares knowledge that took him three decades to amass. How fortunate that we can benefit from his wisdom. I would say this, a 360 degree measure is very important. It is better to use a 360, not to estimate somebody's potential, but to calibrate their what? Performance. Most organizations are not doing enough objective assessment and taking those objective assessments and combining them with 360s to yield better decisions about the human beings in your business who are truly promotable. But ultimately, your goal is to leave this conference with educational ideas, but also motivated 
and inspired to go back and make a difference in terms of recognizing in your organization. And, and we've got to go beyond thinking. See, everybody thinks that all we've got to do is think. No, what we've got to do is, from the top of your organization down, everybody in your organization must truly believe that the human capital assets, the differentiator, it goes beyond thinking. Belief energizes action. Each and every one of us, for ourselves, creating our compelling future as we go back and we work with uh, executives and younger executives and our families. The power of presence. We need to have presence. We need to have positive presence. We need to teach others to have powerful presence. Presence. What do I mean by presence? It is your reputation. Your presence is a function of your reputation. Your reputation is everything that you think, everything that you feel, everything that you do. Your reputation precedes you, doesn't it? When you think about your reputation, you know what your reputation is? It's what people anticipate they're going to get when you show up. We need to go forward and be real in all our interactions. That's the foundation for driving great success in our personal, professional lives. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you.